Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Month. Today is 1st of February 2025 and I'm here at my battery. You can see it's barely charging and this is 5.15 p.m. That means the sun is going down and if there's no grid today, I might be in a blackout situation. Though I've been off grid for about a week now and I've not been using the grid for about a week. So you can see here it's just the solar that is charging my battery there's no grid here i have some batteries that have been lying down and requires capacity testing but i've not been able to do and here i have the sunlit using this opportunity to test this battery how long it can power my load from 5 pm till tomorrow if i try this power mister it might not be able to take us till tomorrow so this is still in the box and it's waiting to be reviewed tear down and all that subscribe to the channel to see the full review of this see what 100 amp hours 12 volt batteries so i'm going to be using this and this at the same time to do the capacity testing to carry out the test i'll be using this testing rig this is 2 kva 1600 watts okay so the power factor is 0 0.8 so that's why this is 1600 watts this is the breaker that i'll be using to turn off the load and this is a smart breaker it has a wi-fi inbuilt and it can serve as over voltage and over current protection just like this guy but this guy does not have wi-fi you can connect this to the internet and switch off the breaker from wherever you are this is the output so i'm connecting just the output from this inverter okay i've connected the earth cable this is the battery cable so i've connected it to this breaker so from the breaker it goes to the smart breaker and from the smart breaker goes to this plug and to my usual changeover so i have that plug so once i turn on this then we should have light here before we connect let's talk about the specification of this battery so the max charge voltage for this battery is 14 volt and the mass charge current is 200 same with the discharge so you can charge and discharge at 200 amps it can be connected in series up to 4s and also in parallel up to 4s so there are some caution here you can take note of that so 3.7 kilowatt hours in dc okay so in ac we'll use the meter so this that smart meter over there will tell us how much capacity we can get on the alternating current side but this is the dc rated capacity at 12 volt this meter itself we sense the voltage okay so to to sense the voltage we need positive and negative on top of the battery so the red goes to positive the uh, black goes to negative then this go to the shunt to measure current so this this goes to the battery and also this goes to the negative side of the battery okay so i'm connecting this to the negative side Okay, connected so this other shunt will also be in parallel okay so this is a bluetooth shunt okay so this also comes with a, well, a voltage sense this is the um, red this is the red for the voltage sense and this is the black that goes to the battery and also this comes with a temperature sensor okay so this is simple so this goes to as you can see b b minus so we are taking this to the b minus so we plug it on the b minus side and this go to our load so this is where we are plugging our load eventually so you can see here that we have the voltage okay so the voltage is connected correctly and this we measure the current in and current out so we lock this in and that has been locked okay so this is this also lock it so this has been locked so we have locked in the both negative so let's connect the inverter positive side okay so we take the positive to the positive so we have this connected together we can pin this down all right so we're good i'm done with the connection so this is running and this is also running this one this battery monitor uses an app this shunt has been connected this one has been connected as well so you can see here from here to this point and they are all linked into this meter okay so this meter is using this um kg app okay so this is kg app 
so you can see here so this is it so before connecting i always use this guy okay so this is a resistor so that when we plug in things we don't have spark okay so i'll be using this to recharge the capacitor inside the inverter so that we don't have those spark so once it's recharged i can safely connect yeah, so we have this connected now. So let's turn on the inverter and hopefully it comes on. Okay, so the inverter is ready now and let's configure the Wi Fi. So let's see. So you can see there was a click and this came on. Okay, so and the other one up, up there is on. So you can see we have light there now and you can see. This is on. There's no light on this. You can use this switch to on, turn on, on and off. So you can see the smart breaker. So we don't need to push like this. We just press. Okay. So you can see it's off. So this is the Wi Fi. So you can see. So we have our over voltage settings and all that. So you can see 110, 63 amps. So one thing is this allows you to do. Uh, on the um, over voltage protection so i'm setting this all the way to seven amps okay because i don't want uh the house to mistakenly um load this inverter so i don't want a mistake to happen where we overload this inverter during this test okay so i'm gonna be changing this all the way down to seven amps okay so seven amps will not overload the inverter so once i get to seven now i'll stop and yes so it's on seven now and that is it okay 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 so the wi-fi is on now and it's searching the inverter is drawing about 35 watts on idle okay so this is the this is the elapsed capacity so i'm still gonna charge this back so now we can reset everything and start from zero amp hours so i open the smart life app and here i have some c you can see it's auto detect it said breaker so just add so once we add so it says searching for wi-fi you can see it's searching for wi-fi so i'm going to be connecting to my own wi-fi okay so it's saying wi-fi is being added and you can see there's a red light so it's saying wi-fi is being added so wait it says successful so successful the wi-fi breaker has been added we can open now and say done so once we click on done then we're good so it opens up so you can see this is the app so we can do all our settings from this app okay so we see settings so you can see there's alarm record i've set my overcurrent to seven amps and over voltage and also you can see the leakage is on 50 milliamps and you can see there's a password in case okay so it also has a timer function okay so you can see it will switch on and off based on the time we set the major thing we want to see here is how many kilowatts are we able to pull from the ac side on this inverter i'm charging to the maximum which is 14.58 which is also 14.6 if you round that up so once we connect you can see the reaction so you can see so you see it's charging at 10 amps so we're waiting for this to cut off so once it's full and the bms cuts off then we can start the discharge test and reset all these guys to zero so you can see it's counting back up so you can see the current the column counter this one counts up okay so here we go so the current is dropping so this is still charging just shut down now so the battery has shut down so it's zero battery is full then we need to clear all this data so we have clear all this to zero and we do the same so clear all right so we go zero let's clear the time as well so we can know the time all right all right so everything has been set to zero now we can disconnect our charger okay the recommended voltage on this battery is 14 volts so we have 14 volts on the battery at the moment 
Vata start. All right. So what we are interested in is this elapsed capacity at the end of the day. So we are checking elapsed capacity as well as the capacity we have here. All right. The inverter is on, ready to go. The breaker is waiting. And this will click now. Okay, good. So there's a delay of 30 seconds on this and it has clicked and that is showing. So we're going to be switching off over to this inverter. So all the current load in the house will be powered with this battery. Okay, so this inverter can rest. See, 33% and sun is only doing for 6 watts. So we're starting the test around 625 thereabouts. Okay, so there's no load currently on the inverter and it's showing about 35 watts okay so 35 36 watts range okay on i do so we take this down as usual so you see now we have the light here then we can move from the bigger inverter okay to the small inverter okay now all the power is coming from this so you can see we are pulling about 36 amps and you can see it's the same on both meter okay 35.7 35.0 so you can see just watch the current and compare so 438 watts on the ac side and 500 watts on the dc side okay so this is from our battery and this is from our inverter so this is recording so you can see we are pulling about 30 39 amps from the battery and on the ac side it's only 2.4 amp okay so you can see this is our load on the inverter so you can see it's about 438 thereabouts and you can see the same thing is on our meter okay so you can see that both of them actually align as well okay so i'm just using this to double check okay so capacity testing so you can see 4.5 amp hours so this is estimating that we will discharge this battery in eight hours one hour into the test yeah so one hour into the test you can see this is the time and we have discharged 28.5 and here we have 28.4 my load has reduced so it's saying we will last about nine hours so we have done 0 0.3 kilowatts hours after one hour so i've woke up solar assistance so you can see on solar assistance so i can have a trend okay so on solar assistance we are going to be able to see um graphs so let's see the last 30 minutes all right so you can see this is the last 30 minutes connected to solar assistance so we are averaging about 300 watts about three hours into the test now so my average load is 281 and we are pulling about three from the battery from 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. our average load is about 300 watts okay so let's go yeah so you can see this is 293 and this is 292 one kilowatt hours drained from the battery 0 0.8 kilowatt used on the AC side so this translates to 80 percent efficiency okay so this inverter is about 80 percent efficient for for dc to ac conversion so the dc to ac conversion on this inverter is 80 percent so this is more reason why you see it as a general formula where they say from dc to ac is 80 percent so this is this actually proves that all right let's go so we have 2.7 kilowatt hours to go can this take us to tomorrow this is 9 p.m will be right back so solar is just coming up this is 7 a.m 2nd of february so 13 hours into this test so 13 hours later okay so capacity done 268 here and here there's 0.5 hours difference so 267.5 268 for 13 hours we've drawn 2.8 kilowatt hours okay so 2.8 kilowatt hours on the 
inverter okay so average load dropped to about 160 watts last 12 hours okay so you can see last 12 hours so we are averaging 300 watts around till around 11.46 then around so from about 12 a.m the average load is about 160 watts okay so we are back again at 8 30 a.m the sun is coming out 343 watts on this inverter and our capacity testing is going pretty well and we have reached the 3.72 kilowatt hours okay that translates to 286 amp hours okay so 287 amp hours actually okay so this battery from sunlit power passed our test we have seen this capacity has exceed 3.7 kilowatt and now we have 3.81 kilowatt hours and 293 amp hours okay so we have done 293 amp hours on this battery so 296 amp hours as a pass already okay so the current is actually increasing to compensate for the low voltage okay so the average load here is 240 watts currently because i have to put on my lights so the light is also consuming from this battery okay so my freezer should be on by nine but i've turned that off so it will not affect the test okay so here we go okay okay so this battery is proving that it's a 300 amp hours battery but i believe this is a 280 amp hours battery okay so i believe this is a 280 amp hours battery which is testing about 296 amp hours yeah so 11 volt the current is increasing to compensate for that so the breaker so three amp hours from the ac side so so three kilowatt hours from the ac side and 3.84 from the dc side okay so that's a dc conversion of about let's calculate so that's a dc to ac conversion of three divided by 3.84 so you can see this is about 78 percent efficiency okay so this is about 78 percent efficiency okay oh and that's it it shuts down okay so we're unable to get that but shut down at about 11 volts